I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA Vatoma Kitchen Island. Let's do it. So you're getting two boxes with this IKEA Vatoma Kitchen Island. Useful tools, bigger and smaller electric screwdriver with a hammer. If you're working on a hardwood floor, the knee pads are useful. If you'd like to see what I'm using, all the links for the tools are in the description. I'm just going to open everything up quickly just for you to see how much stuff you're getting with this IKEA Vatoma Kitchen Island. One box with the screws, a few brackets. I like to organize the screws so I know better what I'm working with. So this is all the stuff you're getting with it. I'm going to start with this panel. Position the panels exactly as I have it here. So one side is plain and one side have plenty of holes. At the front of the panel you have this kind of line or it looks like an add-on to the panel. We're going to pay attention to it later regarding the positioning when you're going to connect it with the side panel. For now you're going to need six of these wooden plugs and it's going to be three of them on each shorter side of this big panel. Whatever you put it in add-on is the second hole, and then those two. Just place it in and secure it with the hammer. On the other side, exactly the same. Second hole from the top, and then two on the side, so three on each shorter side of this big panel. Once you do that, you can put the panel on the side and you're going to have the shelves. You're going to need wooden plugs. So we have two shelves here and it's going to be two wooden plugs for each shelf on one side. Place them in, secure it with the hammer and exactly the same on the other side. Just two plugs for each shelf on one side. And now we're going to have the side panel. Watch this big position it exactly the same as I'm going to do it here. So you have the line of holes on this side. On the other side, there is no holes. Position the panel here, same, so plain on one side, other side have plenty of holes. And here at the front we have this line, look like add-on to the panel, so that's going to be at the bottom of the unit. So position it this way, and just push the panel in, and close it completely. Watch this big panel as it is connected just with the three wooden plugs for now, so it can go down at any point, so don't push it. Before you connect it with these shelves, on one side of the shelf you have no holes, on the other side here you have three holes. So the side with holes gonna go at the bottom and closer to the big panel. At this point pay attention to the panel, don't push it too much because it's not fixed yet just with the wooden plugs. So make sure don't push it too hard on the side otherwise it's gonna just fall. Now we're gonna need three of these screws and we're gonna secure the shelf with the big panel. I start here on the top and I secure them completely in then I'm gonna have a bit of problem at the bottom so maybe don't push the screws completely in till you find the drive. I'm gonna see here at the bottom try to go in it didn't go so I'm gonna have to open those two top ones and then finish the bottom one. So now once I open them it's easy to secure them in. Now we're gonna have two of these brackets four small screws and the bracket coming under the shelf so we secure the bracket with the two screws and we're gonna do exactly the same with the second bracket it's gonna be under the top that is two pre-drilled holes already and secure the bracket with the two small screws now we're gonna put the second shelf so one side without the holes and one side with the holes the side with the holes going closer to the big panel find those two holes place the wooden plugs in and at the bottom, adjust the shelf so it's lining up nicely with the big panel at the bottom. Three of these screws. Secure the shelf with the three screws through the shelf to the big panel. Now we have this slim panel. On one side you're going to have three holes, on the other side two holes. So the side where is those three holes, that's where those wooden plugs are going to go. So one at the bottom, one on the middle. So that's the side where is the three holes. So the top hole is empty. Exactly the same on the other side. Two wooden plugs, place them in, secure it with the hammer. Now we have those two holes and they're gonna go at the bottom, so position it exactly the same as I did it here. Secure the panel in, watch out, can go down at any point, so don't push it. 
Now we're gonna go with the second ending panel on the top. You're gonna need to find all the holes at the same time. Once you're in, just tap the panel in slowly side by side. And once you don't have any gap between the side panel and the frame, we're gonna put those four nuts with the hole and four screws to join the panels together. It's gonna be three on this side. So the first one coming in, see the line at the front, I have to point up. So then you can come in from the top with the screw all the way in. Get the grip and secure the screw. Exactly the same for second one. So you see the hole is going to point up so the screw can come in. So this is at the bottom of the kitchen island. Place it in. See a slightly twist here, so I'm going to have to adjust it. I'm not going to be able to secure the screw on the top here. So I'm going to have to adjust it slightly to the left so the line is nicely pointing up. That's mean the hole is pointing up directly to the screw. And now I got the grip and I can secure the screw. So you can readjust the, the nut if you made mistake and you put it the other way. Exactly the same here for the second shelf. Place the nut and secure with the screw. And the last one we're going to have on the top exactly the same. Okay, we secure the last one. Now we can put the kitchen island this way up on the other side we need to secure it exactly the same with the four nuts and four screws so it's gonna be three on the front side and one under just place the nuts in and secure it with the screw make sure the line on the nut is pointing up right to the screw Third one on the top, exactly the same. See those holes on the top in the slim panel? Those are, they are slightly bigger on the bottom side, so you're able to come in with the nut. And exactly the same at the bottom here. Place the nut and secure it with the screw. Now we can put the kitchen island down. I just put the box here, so I don't want to, because I don't want to scratch the top panel on the top, and you're going to see it better this way. So just improvising here, you can put it on the floor and secure those screws the bottom of the top panel you're gonna have four on each side that screw have a stopper so don't go deeper or higher just go till the stopper just like that otherwise you're gonna have a problem to connect the top panel with the main frame now we can put it down and we're gonna have those wooden plugs so it's gonna be two wooden plugs on each side one on the middle We're gonna have these locks and we're gonna place them in here on the side see the arrow pointing up that's how it's supposed to be and we're gonna do that for all of these locks so the arrow on the lock gonna point to the top hole exactly the same here on the middle panel we're gonna have two of these locks so it's two on each side two on the middle panel and the same for all the locks, the arrow on the lock pointing up. Two at the front here, same thing, arrow pointing to the top hole. Now we're gonna have those two brackets, four screws. I forgot to put it on the other side, so still can do it here. So one bracket go right under, secured with the two screws, and second one under the second shelf, secure it with the two screws. Now we can put the top panel in. If it's two of you, it'll be better as this panel is quite heavy, but you can do it alone. Just go slowly and go hole by hole. Make sure you're not scratching your furniture as the panel is very heavy. So if you go out of the frame, you can scratch the edges. So just go slowly. You see here, I'm almost on the edge. It didn't go down, so that's good. So I adjust this side. That's going to come in nicely as the panel is heavy, it's just going to pop down as soon as you're in a correct position. So we still need to do it on the other side, exactly the same. Find all the holes and just put the panel in, you see it just jump in nicely. So tap it down all around. Once you don't have any gaps between the top panel and the main frame, you're in a good position. 
and you can secure the panel by twisting all the locks to the right side so if your locks are in the correct position here you're not gonna have any gap if your locks are in the wrong position and your panel cannot go down even if you're pushing hard check the locks when the arrow up and then you're gonna be able to come down and close the gap between the panel and the mainframe so we secure all the locks and now we're gonna have those screws this is joining screws in case you have the rack on the top which we don't have in this case so we're just gonna put them in anyway so there is a two holes just put it and join the screws together and secure them in case you want to get the rack or even if you don't want to you're not gonna have those two open holes so it's gonna look exactly the same as all the frame I have those those uh, screws they are useless if you don't have the rack but visually look better if you have them there exactly the same on the other side just cover the holes with those joining screws on the top and on the middle and this is it this is how you assemble ikea at home kitchen island i hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel as always you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day